everyone. So, this is again one of the things that I ran uh, through today and I thought I want to just also record it. Uh, so, I'm going through cleaning uh, my studio and uh, dressing my table underneath my pool, dressing the pool and everything is just like has to be clean and tidy but of course I had to also clean uh, some spoons uh, measurement spoons and etc etc uh, sometimes I have also some uh, squeeze bottles that are unique and uh, those I wash which is a lot actually um, but anyhow um, one thing that I want to warn you, and uh, this is now maybe, especially for newbies, like the, those of us that have been doing this hobby for a while, learned it the hard way because I didn't see it in any video, for example. Uh, I see beautiful work, but I didn't come across these, this, like warning of how this habit can also sometimes be <laughs> pain if you don't attend to what needs to be attended to. And the, this is dry paint. Uh, they are wet last night when I cleaned um, everything like, um, you know, um, empty um, measurement, girdles or measurement uh, spoons or or anyhow these if they find themselves into the sink kitchen sink or the sink in the bathroom your uh, sewage system is gonna be clogged and then it's a pain um, I learned it the hard way one time some of these went into the kitchen sink somehow and um, the dishwasher did not work. Basically, when I opened the dishwasher and I'm supposed to have clean dishes, I found dirty water in the, in the, on the floor of the dishwasher. So I had to really do then some of the cleaning. I worked like a plumber basically. And also one time, some of these made it to the sink in the bathroom and also that was a pain. Um, so now I, buy, I bought these and I advise you to buy maybe two, three from Dollarama. I bought them from Dollarama and any Dollar Tree or Dollar Store will have them. I keep these on the sink when I'm dealing uh, dealing with anything that maybe some of this will uh, run without me seeing it. And then I have also a few of these in case I want to just like, uh, if I have a small um, co like container like this and I just, it has water and I want to sieve it and that's what I got when I sieved the small uh, thing, but then I also got the larger one, the ones we use in the kitchen. And I kept like one in the bathroom for my hobby. And of course, uh, away from the kitchen stuff. But you need that in, uh, to avoid having uh, this problem, which is really, really, really important. Now, when you make it to the dollar store, also got get a few of few sets of these. They're very handy, and you will discover that you need more than one set. Um, you know, because you mis misplace them, or even you want to probably categorize and save. Like I have few by the Australian uh, float troll and. Uh, my selectivator and I have few for my pudding medium and you know it's so organized and handy um, another thing is you're gonna need um, a couple also of sets of these 
I mean, I can't, I can't um, measure, uh, you know, any paint without having this on any uh, container that I'm gonna, or cup that I'm gonna uh, have my acrylic paint or house paint or whatever. You're gonna need uh, also a few of these. And um, one more thing that I learned from also, ladies in the groups and I give them all the credit without having the names. They also advise that you have a water, um, I call it cordial, but there's another name. So um, definitely bigger than this one. And um, you keep it by your, uh, by your side in your studio or your spot. And sometimes you need that because whether you're, um, I mean, if you're having gloves and you have a lot of paint, obviously you're gonna just uh, throw it. And my advice is to always have gloves. Mind you, sometimes I find myself using my uh, pair hands, which is not good. Because I mean, uh, house paint especially build up on your skin and, um, to get them off, you're gonna get a lot of this. To wash your hands in your sink will get you a lot of these. So the advice is to have that girdle so that at least you can get all of your, whatever is in your, whether on your gloves or in your hands, of most of it at least. And then when you go wash your hands, most of that dry paint is gone into that girdle what is this called? I don't know. Gordel, I think. And then, um, and then at the end, you're gonna just, you know, like I said, having the large one like this, and you just go and throw it in and get rid of all, uh, uh, you know, those tiny weeny things that cause huge, huge problems. So that's it guys, bye for now.